FIFA's back, boys. And now that we're a couple days into the game, a lot of you have accumulated some coins, whether that be from packs or trading, and you're wondering, where can I invest? And this post is meant to explain to you exactly why I think Serge Aurier from Team of the Week 1 is such a good investment. So if we look at Team of the Week 1, there were really a few options I was considering for investment this week. The first one I looked at was Tagliafico, and he was actually about 15k on Thursday during the early release period. But unfortunately, he's inflated a bit by now. He's up to 33k, so that's a little too expensive for my liking. The other one I was looking at was Koscielny here. He's 13k right now, and that's a really good price in general for an 84 rated center back, especially one that's French and from League One. But unfortunately, I think it'll take a little too long for him to pan out investment wise. I think it's going to take a bit longer than usual for EA to require informs and SPCs, which is usually what causes these type of players to rise. So the one that I want to go with is Serge Aurier, and there's two basic reasons why I like him as an investment. One, he's a right back, and two, he's from the BPL and is also a usable BPL player. So like I said, Serge Aurier is a right back, and one thing we can do in this situation is look at other right back scenarios from Team of the Week 1 from FIFA 19. So if we pull up Team of the Week 1 from FIFA 19, we'll see the one other right back option we had in this Team of the Week was Jao Cancelo. Now let's look how Jao Cancelo's price rose from when he was released into packs to when he went out of packs and then the few weeks after. So you'll see, depending on console, he was relatively cheap early on, 70k, 50 50k, 110k, and yes, he's substantially more expensive than Serge Aurier. A big reason for that is his pace and his other stats in general. He's a he was a real quality player at the beginning of FIFA 19. But you'll see in those weeks after he went out of packs, he rose dramatically, right? And I think we're going to see something similar to that with Serge Aurier this year. But like I said, Aurier is much cheaper than that of Cancelo, and that's another reason why I like him a lot, because cheaper players tend to have a better return on investment than their more expensive counterparts. But the real kicker why I like Serge more than others is that he's in the Premier League. As we know, lots of people turn to Premier League for their starter squads and squads in general. So if we look at other right backs from the Premier League, we'll see Walker, Cancelo, Alexander Arnold and then Aurier. And if you look at Alexander Arnold's stats and Aurier's stats, they're actually very similar, right? 80 pace, 62 shot, passing's a little bit better on Arnold, but we have some defending and physical characteristics that are a little bit better on Serge Aurier. So it's interesting that he's actually cheaper than that of Alexander Arnold. And obviously, Alexander Arnold's a Liverpool and, uh, and English player, but I think because Serge Aurier is in Team of the Week 1, we'll have such a low supply that he'll be a great look going forward and really rise after he goes out of packs on Wednesday. So the final questions then become, how much should I buy him for? How much should I sell him for? And how much should you buy him for? I think 20,000 coins on Xbox, PS4, and PC is a good look for Serge Aurier. In terms of how much to sell him for, it's really up to you. I think he's one of those players that'll gradually rise over time. So when you're happy with the profit, you can sell. Or if you see a better investment look, something that'll get you a better return on investment, you can sell then as well. Thanks for watching the video guys, and if you liked it, please drop a like below, and we'll see you next time.